Hi guys, it's Dino here from RenderCraft Academy and welcome to another tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create bouncing text animation like you saw in the beginning of this video. It's very simple and easy to follow tutorial, so let's get started. So as you can see, currently I'm working with Blender version 3.0 and let's go and create a new file under general. So here in this left corner you will be able to see all the shortcuts that I'm going to use. And now I'm going to press A to select everything and with X I'm going to remove it. So now we have this empty scene. So the first thing that I'm going to do with the Shift and A I'm going to create text to the scene and let's replace this text by going in edit mode by pressing tab and here we are going to replace this text with bounce word. And now we can go and press R, X and 90 to rotate it for 90 degrees on the X axis. And let's go in text properties here, in this properties menu. And now we can go and change and replace this font here by going under font. And here you will be able to open the font menu. And I'm going to use this Arial Black, you can use any other font as you like. And let's add some geometry to it by going under geometry. And here I'm going to hold shift to be more precise so something like this is going to be just fine and to add some style to it we can go and add some bevel to it by increasing this depth here to about here and now we can go and change bevel type from round to profile and here I'm just going to move this slightly down and now we have this front face popping out a little bit and here you will be able to edit as you want so something like this is going to be just fine and now we can go and press 1 and with G and X I'm going to move this in the middle of the grid so now we need to convert this from text to mesh by pressing right click go and convert to mesh so now we will need to separate each letter as an object so here we can go in edit mode and we will need to enter in x-ray mode because we want to select back vertices as well so here I'm going to select the first letter and I will press P to separate it from mesh and here you can see that we created a new mesh. So now I'm going to repeat the process for each letter. So I'm just selecting letters and by pressing P I'm separating them like so. And now we can go and remove the first one which is empty container by pressing X and now let's replace this text here. We will need to rename it because of the organization. So I'm just going to change the name here by double clicking and changing the text and the last one is going to be E. So now we have these 6 letters which we will need to animate. So first I'm going to switch from layout to animation, workspace and currently set to loop sheet. So here I'm going to switch to action editor and let's lower down number of frames for our animation to 40. Now I'm going to scale this up and move in front of the graphic view. So here I'm going to create one single animation for one single letter and later on we are going to apply the same animation to all other letters with offset. So first I'm going to select the first letter which is B and I will open the end panel. So first I'm going to insert single keyframe on Z location. Now I'm going to move to fifth frame and here I'm going to write down 0.3. So now you can see that our letter B went up so here we can go and insert another keyframe. Now on 10th frame I'm going to select the first keyframe here and with Shift and D we are going to duplicate it to return B on its starting position. And now let's go and add second bounce. So on the 13th frame I'm going to write down 0.15, right click and insert single keyframe and now we need to return it to starting position so I will duplicate the 10th frame by pressing Shift and D and move it to 16th frame. So now if you play this animation you can see that we are having a bouncing effect but we need to add a little bit style to it with curve editing. So here I'm going to press Ctrl and Tab to go in graph editor and right now if you go here under object transform you can see that we are having only Z location active and because those are small values we cannot see it very well so here I'm going to press Ctrl and middle click and move it to the left to zoom it out better and now I'm going just to scroll in and here you can see how the curve is behaving so you can see that our letter B is going in the air really slowly and after that coming really slowly down so I'm going to select all these bottom keyframes and here I'm going just to change handle type by pressing V and currently set to be free and we want those to be vectors so now if you play this animation you can see that we having fast up and fast down and we also have the same effect for the second bounce. So now I'm going to select the first here and if we want our B to go a little bit higher than it is right now we can press G and Y and move it a little bit higher and with S I'm going to scale it up a little bit. Now I'm going to repeat the same here for the second bounce. So to about here, S to scale it up 
and now we have this bouncing effect. So now we need to apply the same animation to all other letters. So now we can select the second letter which is going to be O and here I'm going to press Ctrl and tap to go back in action editor. So now if you select this B letter you can see that we are having animation called B action and now I'm going just to rename it real quick to animation. Now I'm going to go and apply the same animation to the second letter. And now if you play this animation you can see that they both coming at the same time and we want to offset it a little bit. So here I'm going to move to fourth frame, make this uni animation unique by selecting that number here and select A to select all the keyframes and by just pressing G and move it to the fourth frame. Now our animation is going to begin from the fourth frame. And now if you play this animation you can see that we have the offset that we need. So now I'm going to repeat the same process for the other letters as well. So next is going to be 12th frame, I'm going to apply the animation, make it unique and with G I'm going to move to 12th frame. Next let's move on the 16th frame for the letter N, apply animation, make it unique and with G I'm going to move my animation to start from the 16th frame. I will just find the animation, make it unique and now with A I'm going to select everything and with G move it to the felt frame and the last one is going to be E. So here I'm going to add animation, make it unique and on the 24th frame I'm going to move it here and now if you play this animation you can see that we are having correct bouncing as we needed. So as you can see we are done with animating. So now we can go and add also the rest of the elements that we need for rendering the animation which is going to be materials, lights and also backdrop as well. Do you want to learn how to use Blender and become a good 3D artist? Currently on our academy rendercraft.com there are more than 80 courses available about Blender which will help you with your learning process and creating an amazing portfolio so you can land your dream job. With the price same as Netflix, it's your choice should you watch a movie or create one. The link will be down in the description box. And now let's go back to the video. So here I'm going to switch to layout mode. So first I'm going to go out of x-ray mode and with the shift and A I'm going to create simple plane to the scene. Now we can go and move it slightly down by pressing G and Z below letters like so. And here we can go and scale it up by pressing S and now I'm going to go in edit mode and here I will select those back vertices and with E and Z I'm going to extrude it up. Now we can select those two vertices and by pressing Ctrl and B we will be able to bevel it up. I will scroll up to add more segments to it. Now we can go out of edit mode to object mode and change shading from flat to smooth. Next we will need camera to the scene so with the shift and A I'm going to create simple camera. Now we can go and move it up and also here I'm going to press N and I will rotate it for 90 degrees on the x-axis and other ones needs to be 0. Now let's move it back by pressing G and Y and also here everything is going to be just fine. I'm going to enter in camera view or you can press 0. Now under camera settings I'm going to change focal length to be 22 millimeters. and now let's move our camera slightly down and a little bit closer like so and you can see that we are having gap which we need to fill it up so I'm going to scale this on the x-axis and now let's switch to render and view and you can see that everything is dark because we don't have any light to the scene so with the shift and A I'm going to create simple area light let's pull it up to about here and increase power for example let's try 8000 and I'm going to scale it up G and Z to pull it all the way up because we don't want that ugly shadow there and here I'm going to go and increase it to 5000 like so and now we can go and add materials to it so here for backdrop I'm going to use green green color like so and now I will need to create material for letters and this time I want to use baby blue color so something like this now I will share that same material for all other letters so I'm just selecting them and applying the same material and this is going to be the last one so now under render settings we are going to change render engine from EV to cycle because we want higher quality of the render. For device I will use GPU compute and denoising as well, don't forget to turn on denoising. And also don't forget to turn on the motion blur because we want to have a really nice effect to the animation. And under color management you can go and play with the color. So here for example you can go and add higher contrast to the scene. So I'm going to use this medium high contrast. And under output settings you will be able to select resolution of your scene 
and also here you will be able to select, to select frame rate and for the output you will be able to select output destination and for file format you can render it as a PNG sequence or you can render it as a AVJPEG and also if you want to, to render it as a MP4 you will need to select this FMPEG video and here under container you can use MPEG4 and now if you press render, render animation, your rendering is going to begin. So that was it, I hope you had fun creating this bouncing text animation and if you have any suggestions or questions let me know in the comments below. So I will see you in the next video, bye!